Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am It's Fox Nun, and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 2, Episode 2, A Star Girl Called Summer School, Episode 2. And we start off the episode with a woman, oh, it turns out it's uh, the stepmom of Cindy. She's having fun and drunk off her butt, and <laughs> she was just like breaking stuff and just having a good old time, and um... She planned on leaving, but then uh, Sydney found her, and now she's under her control. So, in Wisconsin six days ago, this girl, Jenny, has to leave the orphanage. And um, the caregiver, or I guess the head person at the orphanage, told her not to try so hard, because that's kind of what messed her up a lot. It's like, she was very, like, you know, like, a bit aggressive about it. And, um... She gave her uh, what was left to her about her dad, and it was like, um, sees a car and dad's ring. So, um, I guess the car belonged to her brother, so um, she um, put it on, and it lit up, and it got on her finger. And we got to the present day. Um, basically, she plays um, Kiss Up to Pat, because she knows who Pat is, and... Um, She's rooming in with in Courtney's room, and Courtney is going to sleep on the couch, and she can't sleep. So Pat checks on her, and um, she just says, "I just don't trust Jenny. There's something about her I don't trust." And Courtney's usually the person she trusts everybody at first, and um, so to be like, "I really don't trust her," is just kind of like, "Okay." And then we cut to where Pat says that. Says to give her a chance. Then Jenny made pancakes slash breakfast. And Courtney doesn't really eat the food. And goes on to, um, to school. And Yolanda is going to summer school as well. And But her excuse for Yolanda is for her to get ahead. And that's why she's in summer school. So it's not because like she failed or anything. She just wanted to get ahead. Then Rick decided to skip. And he's in the woods again. And dropped off more food. And clean up what was left over. And so Beth calls. And then Zeke um, put in a flame flower, thrower. Uh, so Beth called Rick. And then we found out that Zeke put in a flame thrower on the robot. Then Pat is going to train Jenny at the garage. And we cut to where the lantern is fueled by emotions. And so they tried to create stuff with the ring. And she actually did a really good job. And... Um, Court is jealous because she's kind of picking up faster than she did with the staff. And then we get to where Ghost talks to Cindy's mom and, um, or stepmom and tells her to do bad things. And so she's like, no, not. So, um, we'll see what happens with that. And then we cut to where Richard Swift meets with Barbara and wants Zarek's magic items. And then we cut to everyone is impressed with, um, Jenny and Court, again, is very jealous about that. And I think Light made a card. Then um, she says something kind of like backhanded-ish. I can't really remember. It's been a few days, since, well, a few weeks since I've seen this. And so Jenny just kind of storms off and leaves. Then we cut to her ghost taunts the stepmom some more. And um, it's working this time. And we cut to where Pat talks to Court, and basically she feels like a fraud just because she is the uh, Green Lantern's daughter. And, you know, Rick is the um, son of the original Hour Man, and so he, she just feels kind of like, you know, she feels like she doesn't belong, and feel like, you know, th these are more legacies, and she just doesn't, you know, fit in as much. And um, I feel like, but she could also connect with Yolanda and Beth on that too, because they don't really have a connection to the original GSA either. But anyway, then we cut to where Barbara calls Pat and lets her know about um, Richard Swift. And he, so he leaves. Then Cora apologizes to Jenny, and Jenny is mad and wants to try to find her brother, and uh, she's pissed. And then Atlanta goes berserk and kind of blasts everyone. Then Pat bumps <laughs> into Richard at a coffee shop, and because he actually wanted a tea. And um, we cut to where... Um, so for the Green Lantern, usually 
the lantern powers the ring, but Jenny is powering the lantern at this point. And it's going um, absolutely bizarre, but Courtney calms her down. Then it doesn't, and everyone gets blasted. And supposedly the lantern's gone, and now Jenny can fly now. And um, Jenny decided to leave at night, but like, you know, they left like on really good terms. So they kind of made up a little bit more. And, um, but anyway, Cora apologizes, apologizes to Pat. Then Pat tells her about the shade. And then we cut to her Cindy. Cindy is home, and then the stepmom attacks her. Then the shade takes over. Cindy, oh my god, I cannot say that word correctly to save my life. Anyway, the shade takes over Cindy, Cindy, oh my gosh, and took out the mom. And Cindy is pissed about it because she didn't want her gone. She actually kind of wanted her to stay around, which is unusual for Cindy, honestly. But, um, that was the end of the episode. It was a really good episode. I gave it a strong A. There was just, like, a little bit too much jealousy in there. Like, I, when I said it earlier, like, when Courtney did feel felt like a fraud and stuff, like, it's understandable. But you also have Yolanda and Beth that technically aren't legacies either. So, she could have gravitated towards them more and talked to them more and tried to hash it out that way. And not really, you know, because, you know, Rick and Jenny are you know, legacies, you know, they're the children of the original GSA. So it's just really, really interesting to see the dynamic between that. So um, that was really interesting, but I just thought it was a little overplayed a little bit. And that was pretty much then, that's pretty much the end of this video. <laughs> so if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below. Sorry about the washing machine going. I just forgot about that. So anyway, have a great day. See you later. Bye.